Hello beings! I am so grateful to have you guys here today and I'm so excited for this video topic. It's actually one that I've been wanting to do for a while and that I've probably got the most requests on. I just, it just wasn't the time, you know? But it is. Now is the time. The time is now. So, manifesting. How to manifest anything. How to manifest your desires into becoming your reality. Manifestation is a superpower. It is such a powerful thing to be able to do. With manifestation, you transform your desires into thoughts, you power them through emotion and positivity, and then you detach yourself, and with that you're able to create your reality. So what are the rules to manifestation? What is the limit to what you can manifest? You can manifest anything. You can manifest a situation, you can manifest a relationship, you can manifest an item like a car or a house, you can manifest anything you want, a job, a anything you want you can manifest. But with that, you have to understand that manifesting is not controlling. In fact, it's the opposite. The letting go stage to manifestation is probably the most important part in my personal opinion. I'll get into that more in depth once we go over the steps. So to begin manifesting, you imagine yourself in the situation or you imagine yourself with the item you want to manifest or wherever it is you want to manifest. So if you're manifesting a car, put yourself behind the wheel of that car. Close your eyes, grip onto the steering wheel, smell the smell of the car, the new car smell. Look down, imagine yourself turning the radio of the car. Just be in that car, you're racing it down the road, whatever you want to do with it, feel it. If you're manifesting a relationship, now please do remember that you cannot control people, you cannot control situations, but you can manifest certain things like relationships. Imagine yourself happy in a relationship where you are fully content, you're with someone who meets all of your desires, who's up to your standard, who helps you grow, who loves you, who cares for you, and send that energy out there. Create that energy. So here we are, we're imagining ourselves with our item in our situation. We are loving it, we're feeling good, we're vibing right now. Your heart starts beating a little bit. You start vibrating a little bit more. You start feeling that energy, your adrenaline's going. It feels so good. Now, add emotion. Power yourself even more. How excited do you feel now that you're driving that car? How happy do you feel? How content do you feel now that you are finally living where you want to be? Or you're on that vacation? Or you're in the arms of a person who loves you and who cares for you? And you feel wanted, you feel good. Use your emotion as your energy force towards your manifestation. The whole key to manifestation is having these emotional desires along with your focused thought, along with what you want. So now that we're in this positive emotional vibrancy that we've built up, we're manifesting our future, we're creating a positive momentum for our reality to react based on how we want it to and based on how we feel and based on what we desire and based on what we deserve, take a step back, open your eyes, inhale, exhale, and let it go. Let go of your attachment to your manifestation Trust that it's already in the process, because it is. It literally is already in the process of working. And release yourself. Now before I realized the importance of this step of letting go of attachment to your manifestation, once you've created the positive momentum, it was hard for me to manifest. It took longer and I felt like things would get in the way. Understand that the thing that you are manifesting has no outline and there is no timeline to it. There's no outline in the sense to where there's no specific way in which you're going to achieve that. Trust that the universe is going to open up a pathway for you to achieve what you're looking to manifest, because that's how it works. You have to free yourself of every attachment that you could have along the path of your manifestation. And once you do that, you've completely opened the passageways for the universe to start conspiring towards the benefit of your existence because you are living your life, you are your own universe, you are your reality. So it's beginning, it's happening. Now, what I like to do next is something to encourage my manifestation, encourage my positive thoughts, and to remind me that manifestation is in progress. 
again, without attachment, but just to keep the momentum going, essentially. So I either like to write it down in my journal and just depict myself in that situation. You know, if I'm manifesting an item, I say, I have this. I am grateful for this. I feel good when I have this. I love myself in order to have this. And I created this myself. And I am able to help others with this because I am content within my own being and I am happy. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. And when I write that down, it is putting it out there in another stream of energy. You know, I've already felt it, I've already manifested it, and now I'm writing it down and now it's in words. I like to close up my journal. I usually put some crystals on my journal just to, you know, get it energetically powered and keep my positive affirmations, you know, in motion. And I like to leave it out to remind myself of my manifestation journal. And after that, I walk on, I'm in the present moment, and I am content. Another good way to encourage your manifestation, especially if you're a beginner at manifestation, is to write out your manifestation situation on a piece of paper. You always want to talk in the present moment, as in, I am already in the situation that I'm manifesting, because that's what you have to imagine, is you are in the present moment living what you want. If it's a car, I drive a Prius. I, I want a Prius. If it's a relationship, I am in love and take that piece of paper, put it somewhere where you see it every day, put it on your door, on your refrigerator. I visit that multiple times a day, so the refrigerator is usually where I go. Um, and make sure it's in a place where it reminds you of your momentum of manifestation. So with this, this is also a great way to see how your subconscious is energetically feeling about what you're trying to manifest. When you see it, notice immediately how you feel. When you see that piece of paper of your manifestation, do you get scared? Do you take a step back? Are you like, oh wow, oh that's kind of hard, or oh I forgot that I'm doing this, or oh this hasn't happened yet. If you have any sort of negative feeling about it at all whatsoever, then it's not going to work as quickly, and it may not even work. You have to let go of your attachment to your manifestation happening. You just have to have an underlying trust that it is already in momentum. So be conscious of that how you feel when you see your little manifestation reminder daily. So with manifestation, like I said earlier, there is no timeline as to when you're able to achieve what you want to manifest. For people, sometimes it happens in a day, sometimes it happens in a week, sometimes it happens in a month, or two years, or four years, or ten. It really just depends on your own energy, as well as your life path. So you have to understand you are on a life journey, Everything is happening to you for a reason, and you are able to create your future and your own reality in your present moment, yes, but you also are learning along your journey. So if something happens as you're man trying to manifest something, if something happens in that period of time that you feel takes you back or that you feel is an obstacle to what you're trying to manifest, understand that it's not. Everything that happens to you is a lesson for you to learn, and the quicker you understand that, you learn the lesson, and you let it go, and you forgive yourself, or you forgive the person, or you forgive your life, whatever the situation is, then it's gone, and it disappears, and you're still back on your track. In fact, something that you see as an obstacle to you or your manifestation could actually be the thing that uplifts it and that actually makes it happen. So always along this process, you should always be manifesting, honestly, at least gratefulness and positivity in your life. Try your hardest to never lose hope. Understand that everything that you endure along your journey is meant for you and is to grow you as a being and to raise you to your higher level of consciousness. So be easy on yourself, love yourself, forgive yourself, you are not your mistakes, and manifest your reality. So I hope this helps with manifestation and what you're trying to achieve in your life. And I would love to hear your guys' feedbacks, your comments, your questions, what you've manifested in the past, what you're currently looking to manifest, what you are manifesting, and any questions you have, please comment, I'd be happy to answer. I am so grateful to be sharing this space with you guys and to be vibing on similar frequencies. It's so cool and I really appreciate you. Thank you guys so much.